Let's start with testing your attention to detail a bit. Take a look at two friends, Ariana and Brooke. Can you tell which one of them is richer? It must be Ariana. Look, she has an original Louis Vuitton purse. Cameron and Dean went fishing on a lake in the middle of winter. Here are photos of them. Cameron is posing with just a little bit of clothing when it's freezing cold, and Dean is posing with a big fish he caught. Which one of them is less smart? It's Dean. Look, the ice on the lake is cracking. It's dangerous to stay there. Everly and Jasmine are in a hurry to get to work. They're running late. Everly is going her usual way, and Jasmine has taken a shortcut. Which one of them is in danger? Jasmine, look, she's walking close to some buildings. There are icicles hanging there. It's very dangerous to walk under them. Noel and Nash are walking outside. Which one of them is in danger? It's Noel. Even though Nash is blind, he has a stick and he'll know that there is a hole. Noel might not notice this because she's too focused on her phone. For her wedding anniversary, Charlotte received a diamond necklace. Next evening, she was having dinner with her friends and showed the necklace to them. She let them look at it and left for the bathroom. When she returned, the necklace wasn't there. Her okay. friends told her that she had taken it with her. Take a look at the pictures before and after and tell where the necklace is. Look at the glass of juice of this woman. Seems like there's more juice in the second picture, but it's not true. She just put the diamond necklace in the glass and the juice level rose. Esme was having a walk in the forest and got lost. She came across a witch's house and asked her to take her home. The witch agreed on one condition. There were three cards. Two of them said stay and one of them stated free. They were facing down and Esme didn't know which one was where. If she picked the free one, she would go home. Otherwise, she'd have to stay with the witch. There was a hint. One stay card wasn't in the middle. The second stay card wasn't next to the other one. Which one should Esme pick? If one stay isn't in the middle, it's either on the left or on the right. Otherwise, if the other one can't be next to it, then it's definitely not in the middle, but on the other side. So, Esme should pick the middle card. It must be the free pass. Ava needed to sneak into her mom's computer to delete an email she had accidentally forwarded to her, but the account required a password she didn't know. Uh -oh. Luckily, there was a hint, and here's what it said. What do you think the password is? The second number is the number you get if you multiply the digits the first one consists of. 3 times 5 is 15. 2 times 8 is 16. 4 times 5 is 20. Similarly, 4 times 9 is 36. And 7 times 8 is 56. So, the password must be 3656. Gianna owns a factory producing cars. Three workers can assemble three cars in three days. How many cars can one worker assemble in one day? If three workers assemble three cars in three days, then one worker assembles one car in three days. So, in one day, a worker assembles one-third of a car. Eloise woke up in a dark dungeon with only some torches lighting it up. There was a door, but it was locked. There was a panel with buttons of different colors and a plate with the word GROW written on it. How can Eloise get out?
The word is the hint, and the letter it consists of are the first letters of the colors of the buttons Eloise has to press, in respective order. Which are green for G, red for R, orange for O, and white for W. Miel likes everything to be in perfect order. Her room is very organized, and even her collection of numbered marbles is sorted into three boxes. In the first box, there are marbles with numbers 1, 2, and 7. In the second box, there are marbles numbered 1, 4, and 5. Two marbles in the last box have numbers 6 and 3 on them. What's the number on the last marble in the last box? The sum of numbers on marbles in each box is 10, so the number on the last marble should be 1. Ashley arrived on a remote Greek island to spend her getaway vacation alone. All the locals there tell the truth and all the tourists always lie. Two girls approached her, and one of them said, Hey, I'm Paige. I'm a tourist here. And this is Sophia. She's from here. Can you tell if either of the girls is a local or a tourist? Since locals always tell the truth, a local would never call themselves a tourist. So, Paige must be a tourist, which means that she's lying about Sophia being a local. So, Sophia is a tourist too. Calliope is a queen of a remote island country that no one has ever heard of and that isn't on any maps. She wanted to make sure that there are more girls being born in her country, so she passed a new law. Every family should give birth to their descendants until they have a daughter. After they have a daughter, they can't have any more descendants. With this law, what will be the ratio of men and women in the country after many years and generations pass? With every birth, there's a 50-50 chance of having a boy or a girl. So, it doesn't matter how many are born in any family the ratio will always stay more or less one to one. This law will only ensure that there's at least one girl in every family. Hannah found her old necklace which is now broken into five short chains, having four gold links each. She took it to a jeweler asking him to fix it. The jeweler said the cost of repairing it is $10 for every link he needs to open and reseal. So, since he will break a link in each chain, it will cost $50 to repair it. Is there a better way to do it that will cost Hannah less money? A more efficient way is to break the four links in one of the pieces and use each to seal the remaining four chain pieces with them. This way, it will only cost Hannah $40 to repair it. Okay, now let's take a little break and have fun. I'll show you some emojis, and your task is to guess which movie they describe. Here's the first set for you. What do you think? Yes, that's The Lion King, of course. Nothing hard. Here's the next one. Any ideas? Beauty and the Beast, another Disney classic. This one is my personal favorite. Have you seen it? It's Up, a must-watch animated movie. Let's try something newer. Can you recognize this one? This is Encanto. Moving on from the animation a bit, what is this movie? I bet you know it. It's Alvin and the Chipmunks, a movie about singing chipmunks. Any ideas here? It's another one about talking animals. 
Stuart Little, of course. Okay, do you think you can get this one right? Give it a try. Night at the Museum, correct. This one is a great movie. I bet you know it well. Of course, it's everyone's favorite, How to Train Your Dragon. Here's the next one for you to guess. What's your call? That's Shrek. Okay, last movie for today. You should get it right. Secret Life of Pets. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.